In case you haven't realized lately, the Raspberry Pi Pico comes with all types of different shapes, sizes, and form factors. And that's because of its commercial success and applicability in different projects. We're going to start off with the classic Pico that's won so many people's hearts. Powered by the RP2040, it's honestly one of the best boards to start out with. Then came the Pico W, which allowed you to connect your projects wirelessly. And like the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi Pico came with many different clones. This clone that you can find on AliExpress actually comes with a built-in ESP, making it a wireless Pico. If you look carefully, you got the RP2040 right there, and an ESP8266 at the bottom. And because of that dual combination, I actually like this wireless Pico more than I like the original. Moving on, we're going to go to the Pimeroni Pico LiPo, which allows you to connect a LiPo battery to your Pico directly. Which is pretty cool in my opinion, because in the past you had to add different peripherals to attach a battery to your Pico. And the simplicity of this project makes it one of the best Raspberry Pi Picos on the market today. Moving on, we have the Pro Micro Super Mini that is powered by the RP2040. If the Pico is too large for you, this pretty much allows you to get even smaller. And like you in a cold pool, the Raspberry Pi Nano gets even smaller. Also powered by the RP2040, it definitely allows you to take your Pico projects to a more compact level. And Nano is an understatement. Moving on, you have the Pico USB stick which gives you full GPIO, boot and reset buttons, and the ability to stick your Pico directly into a USB slot. Adafruit also has a USB Pico that we do not have, but it's an open source project, so you'll find clones all over the place. Moving on, we have the different variations of the Pico 2, which we will actually be going over in a later video, so make sure you tune in. But the newest Pico 2s involve the Pico 2 and the Pico 2W. And even though they might look alike, the Pico 2s are actually a lot more powered than the Pico 1s. As well as the Pico 2s also having RISC-V processors. One of the absolute best Pico 2s is the Pico 2 Plus by Pimeroni. And we will soon be going over the Pico 2 LiPo that also resembles the first Pico LiPo. The next Pico 2 is similar to the Pico 2 USB that we covered a second ago. As a matter of fact, if you put them side by side, you probably could not tell the difference other than from the processor. And even though these little two guys are twins, they are some of my favorite Picos that exist. Our last Pico is a special one. It's a Pico 2 with no USB ports, no visible buttons, and just GPIO. For embedded projects and modifications, you can just stick a Pico on the inside too. And this PGA2350 is also available on Pimeroni.com. And there are many more Picos to come. 